having AirPods. Like that's just not happening. I don't even feel comfortable holding my phone to my ear. <laughs> like, and I can't put niggas on speaker because everybody's crazy. What's going on, everybody? We are live, eight at the table. It's your boy Rico Hundo with Rome, Romy Chris, right to my right. <laughs> So we got Amanda. Um, she's going to be joining us shortly. Um, we also got Aaron, who's going to be filling in as well. Um, Not filling in. Well, whenever she gets here, right? Yeah. You know, ladies are always late. I don't know what's wrong with them. Like, you know, it's like a thing. Like, they don't have a sense of time like me and Rome do. They, right? talk, they call it fashionably. Oh, yeah. And that's debatable. But what I will say is um, today we're going to be talking about a current event. That we all know, I don't want to say we all know, but I'm pretty sure a lot of us heard about what's going on with Diddy. Why you wipe your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> so Diddy, my boy, uh, actually, Rome. So what, what? What have you heard about Diddy? What haven't I heard about Diddy? <laughs> It seems like every every ten minutes there's an update on it's like Diddy Watch or some shit, and now Fifty's involved. Well, Fifty's always involved, but yeah, Fifty's involved. And like right before I came in, his baby mother had put up some shit about him and the kid. And like, oh man, wait, what she put up? Because I didn't see that. Uh, she put up some shit because I guess in the in the not affidavit. What do you call that? The um, I know you're talking about the, like the documents that they were dropping with yeah, the names and everything. Come to me. But in that, it said that Diddy had, had hired her, uh, Young Miami, and somebody else as sex workers. And so 50, I put up, oh, sex worker, you little sex worker, you. <laughs> and then so she replied with uh, this long thing about like how he hasn't seen his son and, and like. Oh, so now because she's a sex, sex worker, he has to be a bad father? I'm just glad that I'm not a part of that. None of this. This is no bueno. I mean, look. We've been hearing about Diddy for years. I mean, I'm not going to say we because I don't know about you. I, right? Mm. I've been hearing about Diddy for years. Like, when I first got into the whole music entertainment industry 10 years ago, I was hearing stuff about Diddy then. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, we got no Diddy now. <laughs> I think if you know somebody in the industry... Whether it's fashion or entertainment, they probably have a Diddy story. Mm -hmm. So when all this was coming out, like people that I know of, that know of, that know of, were like, "Told you." Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's a big "I told you." I remember I got invited to a Diddy party, and um, I didn't go. Right, but and, I, and the thing is, it's not that I didn't go because I was like, "Oh, nah," because I was actually amped, but. At that time, I might have been 23, 24. I couldn't afford the flight. And I was like, yeah, nah, I'm going to just have to sit this one out. But thank you, God, because <laughs> <Look at y 'all. laughs> like, yeah, I might have dodged the bullet. Might have. What you mean? You would have been on them cameras. Yeah, that'd that'd be that would crazy. Be your, your debut? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So now we have Diddy that supposedly um, has fled the country. Um, they're saying that he may have gone to a, well, here's the thing that I want to tell everybody, right? Because the question was, the question, one of the questions that we have about this whole Diddy story was like, who did Diddy piss off? Because this is not something that is new. I mean, if we've all been hearing different types of stories, we've been seeing that Diddy has been at the forefront of some type of, um, allegations of sexual misconduct, to say the least, mm. right? whether it be him or his environment. Okay. And I think that now we're seeing it's like, well, why does it take 20 plus years for this to pop out? And my biggest question was like, nobody wants to think about how his house got raided and was on the news at the same time in an estate. You know what I'm saying? Like, that has to be all orchestrated. Like, TMZ don't... The news don't just fly in with with the news don't just fly in with Homeland Security. That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's a bigger deal than what we are thinking about. Like he had to have got somebody 
I don't know who, but there's something that had to have happened for them to have Homeland Security land at the same time as TMZ, at the same time as the news, and then actually showcase the world what we're doing to his family and his home, you know, that we're left behind. So it's not like, you know, you could just drive down the street and see Diddy's house at the corner and then, the, oh, you see a bunch of cops there. Now you see the news people pu pulling up. Nah. No. This is something you probably got to drive like a mile or two to even get to his crib. You're landing in with helicopters, like how Amanda's landing in right now. Oh, and <laughs> and um, you, you come with the news. So this is, in my opinion, it's like, it's a message being set, sent. I think he, uh, I think there was more or less, you bike? Say hello. Oh, hi guys. Hi, hello. Amanda here. Oh wait, where's the live? I forgot this is live. Yeah. Where where is it? Oh, it's that one? I've been looking at that one the whole time. Oh. Uh, um, I think that there's as far as pissing somebody off, I think that somebody was on those cameras that were throughout the house that didn't want to be on those cameras that had some other shit going on. And it's it's way deeper than anything we'll ever figure out. Because we'll never really get the full truth. Yeah. I think asking who pissed him off is like giving this whole debacle an excuse like oh they're just headlines because did, did he piss someone off and not because it might be the truth no it is the truth definitely well, is the allegedly truth. Uh, i mean allegedly allegedly i mean innocent until proven guilty we know no nah, not in america you're really guilty <laughs> until proven innocent i think once the helicopters come out you, you're pretty guilty <laughs> With the news. <laughs> I mean, but like y'all said, these are things that have been speculating for years. But I think that what started it off, to my knowledge, is when Cassie filed her lawsuit. And what was that? That was in, like, November. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, oh, her NDA is up. She can talk now. As soon as her NDA finished, like, she ran to file a lawsuit. And I actually just read today, she's one out of five people that filed a lawsuit since November. Yep. So um, a lot of people remained anonymous. They probably got paid off. Like Cassie. Um, and one of them I know is, what's her name? Is her name Aud Audra Day? Oh, you're talking about from... Uh, from Xanity Kane? Yeah. 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 She's been in the media a lot about been, Diddy. Yeah, for a long time, too. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah. There's a lot of other people, too. <laughs> I think, in my personal opinion, right... I think all of this seems way too coincidental. What do you mean? So the same time that Cassie's um, NDA was up was the same time that New York had passed a law where I don't exactly remember how it was worded. Retroactive. It was retroactive? Yeah, you can file retroactive no, limit. no limit, yeah. And so, yeah, so you, for one year, right? So this new law comes about. And then all these Diddy allegations come out, and then it leads to what we are seeing today. But if you look a few months prior, right, mm -hmm. Diddy thought he was Jay-Z, right, in a sense where Diddy tried to sue his company, the De Leon and Ciroc company. I mean, we all see what happened with Jay-Z, right, where Jay-Z went to go buy out, um, you know, or sell his percentage, I believe a portion of his percentage to the company. And then he offered to buy him out because what ended up happening was the numerics did not add up. And once he found out that they were lying to him about with the Duce deal we're talking about, once he found out that they were lying to him about the value of the company, they actually settled for $750 million for Jay-Z, plus he retained 25% out of his total 50%. Then a couple months later, Diddy thought he was whole. And then Diddy tried to sue Ciroc and De Leon. Right. And now that didn't go as planned. And they're like, wait, time out, Diddy. You forgot we're twins. And the same <laughs> things you got on us, we got on you. <laughs> and then next thing you know, this retroactive, um, um, what's it called? Lawsuit starts coming about. Everybody starts coming to the forefront. Now Homeland Security is popping up with the news. And it's like this all kinds of seem. That's why I said, who did he piss off? And I think that. He pissed off some people that are at a, a level of power that you don't even know what they look like, and you never will. And I think when those type of people click up, they have the ability to pull strings that could put you 
so far deep into, even if all these allegations was false, they have enough money to make the propaganda, make 350 million people make it true. That's my opinion. I feel like... What do you guys think about my opinion? It doesn't even have to be anyone in power. I just feel like his name already just holds a lot of weight. So all of these allegations like stacked up against him, people can't just sit on that and and do nothing. Like they have to look into it. What about if, what about if people realized that Cassie got some money and decided that they wanted some money too? And then... I mean, well, shit, if they have the same allegations and she got some money out of it, then why not? I could see I could see that happening. I'm not saying it's the allegations are a lie, but if they looked into her case and they found some truths and got Diddy or, you know, he probably decided on his own to settle. That could be the same case for 10,000 other females. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that a lot of people after that have come out saying, oh, well, yeah, he did this. And yeah, he did this. And back then, yeah, this happened or I witnessed this. It, it just makes sense. This is what happens. Yeah, but he's not the only one, right? So and, He isn't because a whole bunch of other names have been pulled in the lawsuit. But they've been, it's been being speculated, right? So, and, and the thing is like, the powers that may be going to protect each other. That just is what it is, Right. Hey, listen, you are a part of my group and I'm a part of your group and we are the 1% or 5% of people. And so let's just make sure that we do things accordingly to us. Yeah, but for how long does that work? Until you try to sue me. <laughs> because I could imagine that this is what has been going on for years already. They exactly. Were, they have this, this whole secret club where they get away with so much shit because it's it's this like boys club or or it's whatever club and everybody keeps it. Where everybody's tied in like the senators. Yeah, the, you know everyone's tied in and everybody is like you know it's on a hush. This is what we do. This is this is what life over here is like. Mm -hmm. Until shit like this happens, how do you save yourself? How do you how do you say all right? I still got to have this person's back when you're the one drowning. Well, you're only drowning because you decided to jump out the pool. Once you like, like this. If, what, I'm, if I'm jumping out the pool, I'm drowning. Well, because <laughs> what what really happened is like you were in our pool of people, and you decided to try to sue us. And once you decided to try to sue us, everything for you went downhill since. So now, once you already, you know, put yourself on the opposite side of the fence. Now, what we were protecting you from, we don't care to protect you. And now you're out by yourself. You can't fight this fight by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think has happened. Now, another thing that I actually stumbled upon, um, allegedly, right, is that initially, once Cassie first filed the um, the complaint against Diddy or the lawsuit, mm -hmm. they weren't willing to settle right away. They were actually willing to go and take it to trial or wherever the hell, you know? And once they decided to do that, because he wanted to, I guess, you know, claim or plead his innocence, right? Because mm -hmm. if he did just come out and pay her, it would assume that she was right. Once he decided to do that and then kind of backed, I guess, whatever representation that he did have, you know, a, um, uh, what's it called? Recommended that he didn't just pay it and just let it go, right? But it was too late. You already started to fight the fight. And then when you paid it, I mean, technically, right? But wait, he, it was settled the day after. The lawsuit was filed one day. The it day after, it was settled. It was probably the, what we knew of. Yeah. It, it, so something was probably coming down the pipeline, like, way ahead of time that gave him a heads up. And mm -hmm. he probably waited too long for the heads up. Like, well, I don't think she's going to probably just call her bluff. And. Well, Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm thinking. I also think that exactly it's exactly what happened. To like uh, give credence to what you're saying, I think this is just one of the most powerful black men that you could do this against to kind of like set the tone of like don't get out of line. Um, just say perhaps it wasn't the the um, the liquor owners or whatever that is. Whoever. Just say it wasn't. 
just the fact that, like you said, it's a it's a whole boys club or whatever type of club it is. Um, they knew that there were cameras, and there was just somebody that just could not be seen on camera. That's what that's what I think personally. I think that. Um, yeah, but they just found out about the hidden cameras. Mm, I don't think so because if you think about it, if you're in like that type of circle and you have mansions and villas and estates, it's a known thing you have cameras. It's not yeah. like you only have cameras on the outside because you would have cameras on the inside of your house probably yeah. to protect yourself from things like this, like, you know, a girl coming over and say, hey, he raped me or whatever. Sorry for that word. I just feel like with all of the people involved, like all of the names being pulled in this lawsuit, all of the people involved in this boys club. Why some, do you keep saying boys? It could have been girls in there too. I, yeah, that's why I tried to change the word, but I don't know what to call it. Just call Secret it. Secret society. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the club. The club. Okay, sorry. The group. The group club. Um, there's some people that have more involvement than others. So once their name is like repeatedly being called, like people are going to start to roll over. They <laughs> are. People already rolled over. Yeah, so they was know. rolled over. Okay, now. You know what I'm saying? That's how it all, all started. All right, now. <laughs> it was already in the rolling. <laughs> Cameras was rolling. They was rolling. Yeah. But again, and I think that, see, my thing is this. I don't think, even if, let's just go with the, the thing, uh, the theory of they are aware that there's cameras within the house, potentially hidden cameras in every room, and so on and so forth. You know, that type of group works and operates off blackmail, right? That's just how they all did it. Like, hey, listen, I won't tell your secrets. You don't tell my secrets. Let's shake hands and do business together. And that's a common thing in the industry. Co very common, Super right? Common. So, like, the only way, Disgusting. the only way it, it, it just, the only way it gets to a point where now we don't even care what happens to you is when everybody else has now said, listen, he's on the opposite side of the fence. Let's all shake our hands and let's all just, we're all going to delegate our resources to go and sacrifice him or throw him as the forefront. Mm -hmm. And again, I do agree that it's oftentimes we see a black man of some type of power that is always set as the example. But I seen this happen with white politicians. I seen this happen with all different races and ethnicities and different power positions. Once you get out of line from our agreement, once you break our agreement, I don't care what color you are, mm -hmm. you're putting this whole thing at risk. We're going to put you and your image and your brand and your family and your money at risk. We're freezing accounts. We're coming after you. We're going to make sure that the whole world sees this. And then as well as that, we're going to tell the truth about you. And any truth that you try to tell about us, we got Shade Room paid off. Or we got ABC News paid off. They're not even going to air it. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, like. And they flew in. Pretty big. How did you, but how did you know about it? Like, this is the thing. You don't just know that we're about to do a raid. You get Police don't tell people, hey, we're going to do a raid. And then, hey, oh, come on, uh, Fox, follow me. We're going to go to Diddy's house real quick. Yeah, I, like, I, think like, that, I think that goes to show that. There's inside men. Yeah. there's. In that's inside. why he knew and he got the fuck up out of there. So Diddy well, got a couple. Kids. Bro, and that thing is this, right? He's like this. I'm not saying he didn't know. My kids, I'm, my I'm kids aren't going to go to jail, right? My kids are not going to go to jail. And I mean, we see movies upon movies and, you know, where there's different little plots where somebody has an inside man that gives them the intel on what's going to happen to them. And it kind of gives them a heads up to escape before they, you know, get nailed to the cross. And that just might have been what happened. He might have had somebody that was able to tell him. And then he said, OK, cool. Let me just get out of here. Told his kids, listen, he probably even prepped his kids. This was about to happen. And. That's why his kids are also being questioned. Mm -hmm. Just stay at home, act normal. That's, but what, that's what he told them. Yeah, but I don't think this. I don't think this was something that happened the day before. I'm sure he's had this exactly. conversation. Mm -hmm. It's been a prep or, talk. I was about were to kids, say it's probably babies. been circulating mm -hmm. uh, for a while. You're not born in these families and don't know what's going on. Yeah. I was honestly just thinking that, like, on my way here, because there was like a lot of like funny memes on Twitter and stuff yeah. saying like. You know who made sure they wasn't there? Quincy and with the twins. 
And I was just like, I wonder, like, how much do they know? Like, what do they think about their dad? Well, he do was they... supposed to talk today at five. Uh, Quincy was on uh, on discourse. Yeah. But this was, I think, he was addressing his father, though. He wasn't addressing Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. Because his father put out a post uh, saying, "You can come home and safe here." Oh but yeah. His father also had a problem with Diddy as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. question, right? So I just want to, I don't want to spend too much time on this one, but it is a part of it because we did have a, we did have a segment about this before, me and Rome. Right. Um, Chris. Now nah, that was Rome. <laughs> that was Rome. That, I'll tell you when Chris is here. <laughs> um, so did Meek, is, is this Meek situation, uh, oh. is it? Wait, did you guys hear the recording? I heard the recording. Why would you listen to that? I actually... To be, to, to I be, didn't know what I was about to listen to, actually. Nah. So. <laughs> so, as soon as I see. Okay, so there's a recording, right? Okay, there's a recording. Right. Yo, Meek. <laughs> I don't know. And then you drop a song saying, I pray to her, forgive me for what I did with Diddy. It's kind of like, whoa. Um, Tell him you listened to the whole thing. So I did listen to the whole, I did listen to the whole recording. It wasn't even that long. Shut it was, up. It don't matter how it long was, it was. It was 45 seconds. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was. It was the 45 seconds of no, it. No, 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 no. Like, no. So the whole video. Well, okay. So the whole video, there was a guy that was, that was telling the story about what happened. And he was saying that he was at the party and, the, and every, like he said, the whole or all of this champagne was was spiked. Mm -hmm. He said people were passing out, but he is not a drinker, so he didn't drink. Mm -hmm. He was a smoker, right? And while everybody sleep, you know, supposedly Diddy was in another room with me, and there was he pulled his phone out and recorded from outside the door the audio of he said in his words, Ball slapping ass cheeks and a man struggling to and fighting to take it. And I you can hear Diddy's voice clear as day. And then you hear another man grunting clear as day. I don't know if it was Meek. It could have been it could have been somebody else, but but but, the, but there's a recording on that. And uh and it was like, I'm not gonna lie, like I did listen to it because I'm like, yo, I got to see if this is actually Meek. Like, I got to see if it's Meek in there. Like, I was, I was about nah, to say, like, I couldn't if, hear. If you heard Meek say daddy, like, Wait, like no, then you're like, whoa. I, say, I didn't hear anyone clear as day. I got it in my phone right now. Time out. I don't think we should play it. Please don't. Nah, listen, Just I'm not going to be the only one. No, I don't think I heard anyone clear as day. I don't think that it was very definitive that that was Diddy in the recording. No, it's definitive that, it was... that it's Diddy. So you you believe? Please don't play it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I really don't. Why do you have in your messages? I saw it on yeah. Twitter. No, this is from Twitter. No, he. he but said... I had somebody. Somebody showed it to me, and I said, "Send it to me." So he sent it to me. So my thing is with this whole AI business going on. They can make anybody sound they like can, anybody, and I'm not, I'm not defending anybody. And that was the thing. So I, and that's why I was they like, can say that in court though. I'm so iffy about this because of AI. Like but, even well, like the Drake diss, I was like, is that really Drake's voice that responded back to Kendrick Lamar, or is that an AI? Think about what you're asking us to believe. You're asking us to believe that <laughs> that they're at a party, right, with a bunch of superstars and people. Everybody's passed out or doing whatever they're doing in separate rooms, right? But whoever house it was, Diddy, security just let let that room. Security wasn't outside of that room door. It I don't think so. A recording of Meek having sex with a female, and no, another it wasn't. recording no. of Diddy. They could have more oh, uh, worked it together to make it seem. And I'm not saying I'm not defending anyone, and I'm not saying that's what happened. But you can't really believe a, a recording and say like, audio. Oh, okay. But my thing was. It was just ironic that at the same time that this is coming out, I'm trying to figure out what did Meek Mill mean by the new song he just dropped. When he dropped it? Today or yesterday. And it said, I'm... Today or yesterday? Yeah, like... Why would he do that? And in the song, he starts off by saying, I hope the hood forgive me for what I did with Diddy. And I'm like, well, what did you do with him? Because what do you need to be forgiven about from the hood? Because I don't know if you're trying to say it just because you had a friendship with them, but it's too open-ended for me with all that is going on. And it's just... I was going to say maybe that's the point. It's not just marketing. It's like, you know, have you ever 
told a but that's tell, not even smart to do when your name is in the lawsuit. Yeah, have you ever told the truth but sounded really sarcastic? So you hope they didn't believe it, but it's really the truth. That's what I feel like is going on. It's like, nah, I ain't fuck your girl. I mean, yeah, I fucked your girl, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You really you did fuck his girl, but you just making it sound like you didn't. I feel like that's what Diddy, I mean, that's what Meek is doing. But he he already did his whole his whole deny the allegations before. And like we said last segment, he's not good at this. No. Just be quiet. No, because you dropped a song and said, forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Like, that's not... In the not, midst of, like, everything. Like, this is recent. You want me to pull it up, too? Please don't pull anything. <laughs> well, what's the song called? Because I, I, I wasn't know. aware of him dropping anything. Oh, both of us? Awesome. Thank you. Both oh, me? <laughs> I be forgetting, you know, she be changing her hair. Oh, we're live, yeah, by the way. This is an accident. Aaron, we're live, by the way. Oh, I, yeah, I know. No, just give me a heads up, you know. The way I just walked in here. I just don't want you to, like, you know. I walked in on the live, too. No diddy. It's okay. Yeah. And that's a new By thing, the way, it's, it's trademarked. Uh, shout out to the dude that, what, not trade or patented? What did he do? Willie from Philly. Yeah, what did he do? Did he oh, trademark it? He trademarked no diddy? Rapper. I'm about tired of seeing that already on social media. You just mad. You didn't trademark it. I don't care. I'm not going to use it. I swear. Why not? You won't hear me saying yeah, that. Me neither. No ditty. I'm not saying that. It's I'm okay. going to say it. You guys can have it. I remember back in the day. Oh, I can't probably say this. on oh, no. Tell me. So, all right. This is not a slander. Just want to put that, you know, little advisory. Back in the day, instead of no ditty, we used to say no homo. You know, if you said something before it was pause, it was no homo. I said yesterday. Right? So now we went from no homo to no ditty. You said back in the Which day. Which I think is very, like, more... You know. You know what? People really don't <laughs> say that anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> you you actually have a more ri- wide range. It's like, nah, I ain't trying to drug you. No diddy. Like, you know. <laughs> like, you, I think it's kind of cool. No? I think it's kind of cool to say that before you drug someone. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you want a drink? No diddy. No diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but if you're going to drug someone, shouldn't you say. No Kelly? Or no. Uh, no, the fat one. No, no Cosby? No, no Ross. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rick Ross? He said put Molly in her champagne. But Molly's not really like drugging, drugging. Hmm? Oh. No, no. Allegedly? No, no that no. song. No, oh, yeah, no. yeah. We can't we, mention we. who, Rick Ross? By the way. <laughs> I mean, we live about Diddy. We live about Meek. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. Yo, there's certain people you the don't bring to court with you. can't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Cut, cut. <laughs> Guys, it's public record. It is in a rap lyric. They are they are actually He actually lost the sponsorship with Reebok. I yeah, I know. Puma, one of them. All yeah. these niggas be losing everything. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she came in. <laughs> all businesses plummeting. Okay? Everything. All sponsorships, all partnerships, gone. Okay? Y'all need to watch what y'all do. Yeah, come sponsor us. Exactly. Y'all we, dropping Diddy, y'all dropping all these other people. Come sponsor us. Hell. I don't know if I really want to because then... Them, okay, like, you ain't got to get sponsored. Like, y'all can have Speak it. Speak for yourself. Yeah. I'm not trying to walk on any ropes. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to walk a rope. Just be a decent fucking person. Yeah, but Rick Ross like, is being decent. He was just saying, you know, I want you to have more energy. Molly makes you happy. It don't put you to sleep like Diddy's. It's about it being done surreptitiously. Ooh, oh, yeah. surreptitiously like is the word of the day. Like your... Yeah, SAT word. Missionary over here. Well, maybe they knew about it. No, honestly, he, he said she ain't even know yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, shout out to Rick Ross. He's an Aquarius. I mean, um, I like the song. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. I mean. We'll still sing it. We'll still sing you can, it. You can, you can, you, I mean, I, it seems like it's more appropriate when it comes to drugging somebody to say no Ross. Jeez. Yeah, but Diddy's was crazy. Like, Diddy's is a whole different ballgame. I thought no Diddy wasn't... I didn't think it had anything to do with drugs, though. It has anything to do with Diddy. Oh, what? anything... Any, oh, oh. Yeah, well, it, could be, like, allegations, it could be like... And there it, are a lot, so to say. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Facts. You can say facts, Aaron. Allegations. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I'm gonna be honest. Get facts. Uh, yeah, y'all saw my face when he said facts, baby. These is they, they're not they, they have not been established as facts. So I'm very like conscious of talking about things as if they have been proven, proven 
to be facts or have been accepted as a fact by, you know, some um, appropriate body of law. And that's important for you guys to know. We do not have the facts. Yeah. We have the research. We have, no, allegations. Yeah, they're allegations. Yeah, the, allegations the allegations and things that were put, that were printed in the lawsuit. But charges don't mean facts, too. That's another thing. Of course not. You know. Well, so. everything is alleged. But no, but yeah, it, yeah. it is yeah. alleged, but it's also public knowledge. So we're not just pulling this shit out of our ass. We go on Twitter just like y'all. No, <laughs> no diddy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> pulling shit out your ass is like, you know what I'm saying? You got to say no diddy with that. So what do you want me to say, Al? Oh. On which email? Um... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> now it's in a text. Um, so apparently the uh, note from Mr. Combs's counsel says that he vehemently denied all allegations of sexual misconduct, asserting his innocence and commitment to fighting the accusations. Uh, his attorney, Aaron Dyer, characterized the raids on Combs's property as an unprecedented ambush and a witch hunt criticizing the use of excessive force and media presence during the searches. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, I know I heard y'all talking earlier before I came and sat down. Um, y'all were saying that the media was there. There are people who, like, they have connections, like the media with, like, the the, the police officers. And the, mm -hmm. just imagine if, uh, if they went to go... Uh, Arrest. I don't know who's like important in New Donald York. Trump. No, just like uh, like who's somebody like mildly important in New York? Not even mildly. If they say we're going to arrest uh, Cardi B, I, was just, oh, yeah. I can guarantee you the press will be there. It's because they, they share information. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's I mean that's kind of like a given. Uh, I think the only thing I can say about this is. A lot of people, boy, a lot of y'all lawyers today, though, child, in 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 the comments. Internet lawyers. Boy, boy, <laughs> uh, yeah, they That's the real lawyer. <laughs> they <laughs> lawyers today talking about, uh, yeah, they, they don't raid your house without proof. It's not actually true. I actually used to work for the uh the U.S. Attorney's Office, and I used to always wonder, like, man, how do you be winning all these cases? You know, one, a lot of federal cases, like like a big majority of them are like the same thing, so it doesn't matter. Um, but typically they've built a strong enough case against you to arrest you. I want to point out that Diddy has not been arrested. Yeah, he's a free man. So, and, and they know where he is, you know. He hasn't left the country. Or I think, did he, they say, well, his plane did. His plane. We, don't, we don't know that he did. Yeah. Um, but I'm telling you, if they had like proof, 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 that was a distraction. He would, he would be in handcuffs right now. He would have been arrested. It wouldn't have been TMZ catching him walking around outside. Well, I was, I mean, I was saying this earlier, and well, I guess obviously it's Diddy, but it could be a little bit different. But for no example, Diddy. you know the guy that, huh? No Diddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, what? We, I'm, we are I'm, not condoning. I'm literally this. joking. I know Diddy. I don't know what I said, but no Diddy, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, exactly I just want to be safe. Um, <laughs> you saw what happened with, um, I think, I don't, was it Dream Doll's boyfriend? There was a soccer player. No idea who that is. So there was a soccer player who's very famous, right? And um, bless, you. bless. And the soccer player was actually wanted for some type of murder in a country, but they had no ability to arrest him in a, in a in a, no in another country mm -hmm. he was in a separate country and um they po he had a post that went viral and then the shade room or a spiritual word had posted them two together and then all the comments of the girls were like oh like where is this man like cuz he they were like saying that he was loving her properly right <laughs> whatever um moral of the story is then somebody commented Oh, he's also wanted for murder for this, this, and this in this country. Da, 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 da. This is probably like maybe a month or two ago. I was about to say because her birthday just passed and she just posted that, a new nigga. That was no, that was <laughs> that probably was that, that was, was probably them, oh. right? So what ends up happening is after this. Now, mind you, because I was like, there's no way this is true. So I I remember I had <clears throat> went on Google. I googled some stuff. And I'm like, damn. So this has been something that's been you know 
stated for months now, or maybe even a little bit longer. Didn't you tell us we shouldn't believe everything on Google? Well, what happened was the whole situation happened prior to that post, like months prior to that post. Did she know? I would assume so. But after that person, whoever commented, and everybody started commenting about how he murdered somebody, they went and arrested him. Like, he went and got arrested, like, weeks the power after. power of social media. And right. I think that's what it is, right? So once it becomes, a like, social media gets... Thing. Yeah, once... Because the thing is, is I feel like people, people break the law often, and also people get, you know, a slap on the wrist often. Once it becomes something that's public and it gets so big... That's, we got to do something. Now we got to do something. So now that they're saying that, let's say that, what's his name is in Cape, his plane went to Cape, Cape Verde, right? Did it? That's what they said. I've heard I a they couple. Said Aruba. I've heard no. a couple different places. I'm not gonna well, lie. It might they be. Keep switching I saw. It up. Cape, I saw. Wait, Cape. So he went all the way to Africa, or the plane went to Africa. Yeah, West Africa. I think that is right. Yeah. Where they had no jurisdiction or whatever actually. the hell. So that's just one of the things that I saw. But we could all be seeing a bunch of different stuff. You know what I mean? But let's just say if he is there, and let's just say we don't have the ability to go there and arrest anybody. Now that it's gotten this big, I would say don't be surprised if you do see Diddy in handcuffs very soon. And because there are people like yourself who are on bigger platforms who do know and have some type of background or expertise in the law, once everybody starts seeing, let's just say your, your posts get a million views and they say, well, if he was really guilty, he'd be in handcuffs. And now the higher up see that, oh, Aaron oh, Campbell send it. Yeah. We're going to make sure he's in handcuffs. Now we got to do something. Yeah, because oh. the, the thing is they have to keep the small people, well, the masses in check. And if the big people are getting away with certain things, then they're going to feel like it's going to have an influence on the masses. So we always have to make the example on people like Diddy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so I'm just going to say, don't be surprised after this episode if Diddy's arrested. I will say, <laughs> no, we, did, we did the, not wish that upon you, Diddy. We did not wish that upon you. That I watched on my way here, there, I don't really know who the guy is. Um, like according to the the case, but he said it's a matter of days or weeks before Diddy is actually arrested. Yeah. I mean, they took all of like anything that they found electronic in his houses. They they took. I don't really know if they'll. Honestly, when I saw the headlines that they raided both of his homes, I I literally I was like, that took so fucking long. There's nothing to find. What do you? What do you what, mean? I don't know. I was just like, what do you guys think? There's that a you're lot of things find? that you can't. That, you know, don't just erase. Yeah, videos. you can't just erase it. If you delete your text messages, they're still there. Yeah, oh, yeah I know that. It's forensic accounts. What do you? Yeah. Think? Forensic investigate forensic. Well, I think that. Well, I think that's the point in him saying that forensic. within days or weeks that he could be arrested because forensic. they took everything right. electronic from his. And all they're gonna do house. everything. It's just like. Anything that you record or you document on your phone will forever be there. Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear anything about a tunnel? My sister was telling me that they found a tunnel. All right. Now, oh, he's, now he's a drug oh, lord. Did you guys see, <laughs> yeah. No, wait, but did you guys see that Diddy's or no? He's a drug lord now. He's a drug lord and he's a, a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. A ninja turtle. <laughs> wait, I forgot to look that he up. He might be wearing the same. But uh, I definitely <laughs> did hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did see something i saw screenshots of the lawsuit honestly i do have the lawsuit it's just really long for me to read so i have not read it but i saw screenshots juicy. of what is the it? lawsuit um that says that carisha young young miami uh smuggled a uh, coke for him and and that she was hired as a mule sex worker and that was the that was their uh dating stunt mm-hmm she said she just also had an interview and said, "I'm a I'm a whore by definition with uh, Jason, Jason Jason Lee. Lee. I'm a whore by definition. And like in in the caption or in the video, it says whore definition prostitute. That? Like she's like, no, I'm a whore with a W. I'm a whore. What? Uh, well, uh, is there any context to that? Like well, basically, a sex worker can also that? be assumed as a prostitute, right? To some extent. So you think you think she was admitting? She was admitting it. Yeah. Um, I don't know how recent it is, but I do know that it was recently, you know, ciphering. Yeah, throughout the internet. Uh, oh, I don't know. I was going to say something. I can't remember. But, uh, he 
took a shot at the bigger people, and they. <laughs> I don't know who who is it. Who I hate. I don't want no oh. problem. No Diddy, bro. I don't want no thing. Next thing we know, we're gonna have a whole no Rico investigation. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I will say this. Recently, he's donated money to some uh, HBCUs. I hope that that you know, he, yeah, that that still happens, huh? Well, I, I know. So I think it's donated. Um, there is a difference, but he, yeah. Um, so I don't. I don't really do that shit to make him look good in front of court. Like I'm a community asset, and I do this, and it's for the community with my money, and I share it because then you know. Is he from? A well, one he went to Howard. So I was about to say, yeah. like, there's no reason for him to not. Usually, when money. you go to a HBCU, you have a lot of pride in going yeah. to HBCU. So, um. Hmm? Nice. I thought we were on YouTube. Uh, no, that was a live or something. Um, He's making videos for his own amusement. I, I, Alan, I don't. The who? We did. Yeah, that's who we said. That said, she said she was a whore. Still live or no? No, because it was. Um. Well, you know what? Carisha was very big on saying like. That's my man, but that's not my man. So it was like, technically, she was single, and she always said that. Like, but you see me with Diddy because he do shit for me. And that's how everybody took it. Yeah. I mean, not in those words, but... Essentially. Essentially. Yeah. That's how everybody took it because that's how she took it. And I'm single. This is, like, we're not official boyfriend, girlfriend. Out. Yeah. Yeah, but we hanging out, and we be going on trips, and he be buying me bags, and... He sponsors my whole talk show. Right. Yeah. So it was just like, we already we already see what it looks like. So I, if I was her, I would have taken 10,000 steps back because. <laughs> you said you would or would not? I would. Because, no, because you're not my man. Why I'm sticking, sticking by you? For what? Like you handle what you got to handle over there, sir. And I'm going to let you figure that out. Yeah. But also she, this was prior to this whole Diddy allegation sometime last year. She went out. And said that she caught Diddy and Saucy Santana having an affair. Really? And that, I've never heard any of these things. I've listen. It came out her own mouth. Like she said it. We gotta find these Rico things. Just type in YouTube. Just go on YouTube and type it in. <laughs> you, yeah, they, can, can somebody talk? To you me? you could. It's, it's in Rico's messages. He yeah, it's, it's in his messages. He watched the forty-five second. Uh, oh, so this, well, they said that allegedly. I didn't think it was forty-five. I definitely didn't. No, the think whole was video 45. was forty-five seconds, but the dude was talking for maybe like I don't know. He was talking first, describing yeah, on, talk on, on a talking video you, that you watched. No, because yeah, it's a collage. It's the whole video together. He talks and then he plays it. That's the video I saw. I have. You want me to show you? I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I have a question. So this lawsuit, is this percent. a civil suit? Like, who's who are the parties in the matter? Like, all the names? I, I, I assume it's somebody versus Sean Combs. Oh. Where's my Homeland phone? Security going after you wouldn't be... It would be it would be the United States. Yeah. So if Homeland so is, that, so is that the lawsuit? I don't know if that's lawsuit, but Homeland Security is different than LAPD. Yeah. So but, but everyone's saying they read the lawsuit, read the lawsuit. I haven't read no it. Service down here, Alan. I haven't seen it, so that's why I'm saying either. like who I just got to the juicy part. I didn't get to the oh. who versus who. Anybody know? Nah. Wait, can you say it again? Wait, because I have it. So okay, the I just want to know like, is this a civil lawsuit? Uh or is this like uh, uh, who who who's suing him? That's not that's not civil. It's criminal. What? Who's little Rob? Rodney Ooh. Jones. One of the uh, one that's of the, the producers. For the last album. Oh, you're right. He he did. He did. Love album. Oh, and that album is fire. Isn't it? Still Boy, listening to it. What? Okay, this is what this is what I have. This is a lot of names, actually. Oh, thanks. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, oh some wait. something just happened. Can I plug my phone in the charger? What's the floor? Who is that? What up? Hey, hey, Yums. Oh, so this is this is a uh a civil lawsuit. Wait, so what's the civil lawsuit? Civil means like there's no... No, no, no. I get that. 
I know that part. Oh. I meant like, what are we, audience, what are we talking audience. about? Just, just to separate it. Like, who's the civil this lawsuit? This lawsuit that I have was from Rodney Jones, which is a, a producer or producer, Wait, this is rapper. Yeah. He's not a rapper. Oh, I'm saying this lawsuit producer. is between whom? Is it says Rodney Jones versus all these people? Sean Combs okay. and then Sean. Like so oh, Justin, after. Ethiopia, something. She must be Habesha or that person is Habesha. Lucian. Charles Grange, you know who that is? Mm-hmm. Who is he? Uh, he's the head of Universal Music Group. Okay. Uh, Christina Corum, uh, Chalice Recording Studio, Love Records, Motown, Universal, Damn. Combs Global Enterprises. Like, like all of his. Uh... Uh, oh, it's a bunch of stuff. Because yeah. he got a bu- he got like Jane Doe's and all of that. John and Jane Doe's, ABC Corps. Yeah, there's a lot of anonymous. Uh... I wonder who this person lawyer is. Um, see, this is, this is the problem with like civil lawsuits. I literally can sue anybody in this room and allege anything under the sun and go file it. And now it's public record. You I know, will, I yeah. will say, when did I get this? Hold on. Cause I had someone send this to me. Like if this was a this state versus, I'd be like, okay. Ago, I'm pretty sure this lawsuit is updated from, from this though. This was a month ago when it was Rodney James, um, you know, filing the lawsuit. But I feel like now that Diddy is back in the media mm-hmm. with other allegations and, and the raid and stuff, I'm, I'm sure they have way more than this on him. No, no, I get that. I'm just like, if the... Um, the documentation is still going to be public knowledge, no matter if it's right, wrong. It's just a, a claim. Well, I'm just talking about like the Homeland Security piece, like where, like I, what's going on with that? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, that, that that's not that. That is not in no, here. because that was for sex trafficking. That was that was for alleged sex trafficking. Yeah. Okay. Allegations. Yeah. Alleged. So is there is there is that papered like uh like where can we? I mean, that they, they would have to have some type of paper to do something. So I don't know how raids work. I remember when I used to work at the. U.S. Attorney's Office. Like, I would read these things all the time because it was just so interesting to me. Um, but it was always, like, indictments because every Monday morning, mm-hmm. it was a whole list. Such and such indicted, such and such arrested, such and such put in jail, such and such, um, literally everything that happens within that federal district, you know, for the week or whatever. So that's why I was wondering, is there anything supporting, like, the, the raid and, like, the, the federal, alle- the allegations yeah. from, like, the federal government? I mean, I'm Maybe not sure. that's not public knowledge yet, which is why he's calling it a witch hunt. But the thing is, too, another... So, a lot of times... Well, yeah, so there would have to be something, but I do know, like, with, when it comes to, like, the feds, they don't actually have to show you anything that they have on you. The only... That's the biggest difference between, you know, the state-to-state state crimes versus the federal crime. And that's really how they, you know, kind of win their cases because you can get an attorney... And they're going to tell you what your arrest is for, but they have to arrest you for it first, right? And then your attorney can fight that, but that does they do not have to submit the evidence um, in full to anybody. Um, and that's, you know, one of the things that they keep in their back pocket. So I'm not too sure if it, obviously he's not arrested, but I also, we only know what he's being, I guess, charged for. Was he even charged or was it no. just... No, he's not. It was a speculation, a raid. No, uh, they they literally just had a warrant that obviously had to be signed by by a judge or whatever, you know. So they have to. There's a certain level of um, evidence. What's the word? I won't even say evidence. Reason. Like, uh, child, I can't even think of the word. But anyway, you can't just say, "Hey, judge, sign this warrant." There has it has to be substantiated somehow. There's a paywall. I can't read this New York Times thing, but at a minimum, there was a warrant. Um, which may be public record, I really don't know. But there was a warrant to, you know, search his house and stuff. And maybe from whatever came from that yeah. may lead to um, his actual charges. Being yeah. charged, yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I really don't know a lot of this was but going on. You can't on. just get a warrant, like, for sex trafficking, you know, just <laughs> See, without any type of... Because, you know what I'm saying? But Ideally, like you, said, you can't. the feds don't have to tell you what they have on you. These well, allegations has, have been circulating. They're not telling, but no, but they're yeah. not telling him. They're t- yeah. he, they're telling the judge. Yeah. 
Why has no one come to this Diddy's is, defense? Because this is, this is fucking, true. This is huge. <laughs> I think like, it's, I honestly, feel like I don't think nobody wants to be. Yeah, the allegations against him are huge. Like he's the next R. Kelly. Like no, but people fought for R. Kelly. People fought for Michael Jackson. People fought for all of these other people. But I think quietly. the biggest difference is that everybody knows, even if you don't know things that was happening underneath Publicly, Diddy's umbrella. Though? I mean, yes. the fact that you sign, you write a note to the judge anonymously and your name is kept signed and sealed. So nobody knows who wrote a, a letter of support in for Michael Jackson, for R. Kelly. Nobody is going to publicly be like, no, what are you talking R, about? R. Kelly didn't I, do I this. Michael that, Jackson didn't do this. I think the yes, people that they definitely were publicly support, the people <laughs> that are publicly supporting, supporting him aren't just aren't doing it publicly because That's I think point. these people. They're, they're, they're cautious. They, like, no, you know, they, they know it's true. Like, <laughs> say it wasn't everybody. Say, say not everybody got down at, at, at the, the Diddy yeah. freak-off. So the people that didn't get down at the freak-off, like, yeah, I was there. But, like, and nothing happened to me, so I, I really have nothing to divulge to this conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they were there and it was more consensual than people were thinking. Well, there's always, there's always two different types of parties. So there's, like, the main party, and then there's a secondary party that, like, mm-hmm. Is super nasty. Party party. But party that's party. when you're used as a yeah. Witness, that's how L.A. parties witness or whatever. I'm, I'm talking that's about like <laughs> like letters that speak to your character. I honestly, and I'm just saying that because I recently watched the Nickelodeon um, documentary. How was it? And it, like honestly, horrifying, disturbing, and it was disturbing. Yeah. And but they they told like all of the people that wrote letters in support of this pedophile. This molester. Is he in jail? Or? He went to jail for like three, yeah, three years. Really? Mm-hmm. You know why? Honestly, but he had yeah. so much people in the industry backing him. So many. I literally, I had to Google so many of these people. I'm like, oh my God, him? Him? And I was like, honestly, I was shocked. Yeah, I but was, there's a difference. What's the difference? The difference. He's that, such a little kid. No, 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 not the case. The difference is the reasoning, yeah, right? The relationship those people Yeah, have. he got caught. Right, I would. Say he got caught by the people. He didn't go against his resources. I think once Diddy started suing the wrong people, who did he sue? De Leon, the owners of De Leon and Ciroc. Once he got into it with them, we started watching in June of last year. Months later, this retroactive law, uh, retroactive law, um, came about where he was able to be sued. Then he got sued by Cassie. In November, it wasn't retroactive. It was just the the statute of limitations was, yeah. was about to run out. So, and I think that what happened is, literally, they just started getting everything the ducks in line for him. Once you went against, once he went against whoever like the hell Dayleon? Was. like who who owns Dayleon? I don't know. No. Or Ciroc. So Ciroc is owned by who, who owns Ciroc? Uh, let's figure. Like, that I out. mean, yeah. to me, they just another liquor company. You no. know what I mean? Hell no. Oh, it's Diageo. Oh yeah, they. I don't yeah. really like Casamigos. The, the Casamigos <laughs> changed over the last three years. She was like, you say, uh, you, say <laughs> you say it every week. Oh no, it's not. No, it's a hundred. No, 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 no. Casamigos is one hundred percent agave. Yeah. I actually used to work. I hear it. That's all. And I met a lot of people that worked for them because it was in the same building as my old all job. The time for saying that. Um. So I used to just be in there asking yeah. questions. And shit. Like, cause we gotta also think about it. Like, come on, bro. There's too many people over the course of twenty years that have came out and said Diddy was doing crazy shit, and, and nothing has happened. Oh, I, well, I know who Diageo is. I used to my job used to be across the street from their headquarters. Everybody. I mean, what is literally? It who they own? There you go. So he's. <laughs> oh, now. Well, as of last year. Thank you. And that black leather. <laughs> Thank you. Not the you kick. I did. Were you with me? I was with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't believe how, how cheap this was. Uh, it's she like, was trying to get it for cheaper, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, not 25. He's like, nah, 30. I gotta let it go for 30. As you should. He was like, wholesale. I was like, I, I say, if I give you cash, what if I don't pay with my credit card? Yeah. I <laughs> wave the taxes. Yeah. <laughs> like something. You, I was like, you could pocket it yourself. Liquor brands or brands? Like, okay. 
there were a lot of stuff. Hennessy? Is that up there? No? Oh, In the meantime, like, I, think it's, I think it's important to, uh, to really get a message across to uh, entertainers or people that are looking to get into the business. Like, you don't, you don't have to go to these parties. You don't have to be a part of this. Uh, you probably won't get as far, unfortunately, because that's the way the industry is. But if you know anybody that is in the industry, they will have a story about this going on outside of Diddy yeah. and things you have to do to get roles or. Mm -hmm. This why this your is why actors. Alan don't like me going outside. No, well, because I know, I know the industry I know is nasty. Actors. Yeah, I know actors Ooh. and okay, I'm not gonna tell you online. Yeah, my people. You tell me after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know so many actors that that have gone to Atlanta, have gone to L.A. And what's, what's something they gotta do? You, from from what I hear, uh, yeah, it's it's like this whole ritual. It's like a ritualistic thing where you gotta like have oral sex with other men and and other things to the producers and like there's a real casting couch. Yep, casting couches, right? You know, like I heard a, of the it. nasty casting couch, like the black leather. All the people and Amanda. That, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know the casting couch, it's just like you know. A, a room and it's a black nasty couch. It's in like a lot of. Does old it have portals. to be black? I mean, it's like black torn leather. Yeah. Does it have to be nasty? I was just about to say. A lot so. of things happen. A lot of crimes have been committed on these couches. Yeah. But like, um, just things you have to do to get a role because if you think about it, there's 90 other people with more qualifications. Some of me. No, I'm, uh, I'm scratching my. Uh, with better qualifications and better references, and you know they want you though, and they'll see how far you'll go to get this role, and they'll tell you like, you do this, you'll get this. And you'll get mm -hmm. this, and you'll get this, and lots of promises, and damn, yeah, and it never stops. Oh. It never Wait, stops. It never stops. Does, and, does and any of get, this, this thing is the have... blackmail that they start you yep. off with? Yep. Because now, when you do that, they tell their friends, and you're now you're part of a circle you didn't know you were part of, and this continues and continues. Like who's running all of this? Wait, I was about <laughs> to say, does the this entire industry have yes. any <laughs> like have anything to do with like spirituality or like worshiping? Like devil yes. or demons or anything like that. So drinking blood and if shit. You know about yeah, the, the history of like what Los Angeles stands for, so like city of Los Angeles. How uh, people go out to Los Angeles with this dream, and they basically sell their souls to be on camera or to be in entertainment, or whatever. And if you go out, like my sister will tell you, oh, you don't know my sister. But, uh, <laughs> she's in L.A. and like, if you look at like a lot of the homeless people. Um, who have tried to make it in the industry, like if you look at them, like you can look in their eyes and it's just, I don't That's know them you, drugs. It's, I, I oh, this is real deep. Addicts. Like you see yeah. crackheads, but I'm talking about just having a, a complete like vacant. No, yeah, cause vacant, when you really body. get, soldier soul. when you really start watching videos and like getting really into the rabbit hole of the Hollywood industry and uh, the allegations uh, against Jeffrey, um, Epstein. Epstein and R. Kelly and what they were into and this island that they had and, you know, what they believed and what they were doing to get people to, you know, come to, to you know, their side of things. It, it's actually just really crazy because I feel like you really got to believe in something to think that this is okay. Well, no, the thing is, we got to also understand something, okay? And I'm not saying that what they're doing is right, but... Nothing comes without a price. It's a choice. Well, you need to understand that most people, people watching here, are nothing in the sense of financial, financially successful. You come out here and you want to do something and you want to be something and you want somebody to put all of their resources into you for free, you're nuts. Business don't work that way in anywhere. Good point. So when you think that you are a person with a dream and you're a person with the talent, that's cool. You're not the person with the money. And you're not the person with the resources. So until you are able to acquire the resources and the money and the power yourself, you just gotta then you can negotiate. Days. Yeah. You might have to go do it. Little, remember when Lil Baby first came out, one of his first songs that he had? I think in Sold Out Dates. Lil Baby, Lil Baby the rapper. Uh, I'm, I, I was trying to... Yeah, it's, it's like seven babies. I was trying yeah. to like, little baby, the baby, baby. I was trying to like file through the, the babies. The only in my baby head. that matters, but, baby. The so, only baby that matters. But like little baby came out in his and in, in their song sold out dates, which was like one of the hit si singles of that year. And he said, "Niggas is sucking dick for fame." He didn't say that as a as a 
you know, a double entendre. No, he said that for the legit verbatim. And did he blow up that year? You know, and that he actually sure did. I and, and my no, he came in with his. He came in. With, okay. No, babe, little baby was a drug dealer. Well, excuse me. He came in with resources oh, yeah. and relationships. Yeah. What was that, 2017, 2018? Around there. Yeah, that he came in with resources and, and relationships. Mm. But he 2017? Also, but but the, the last year? Yeah. yeah. He's about, he's about yeah, a good six years, seven years in. But even if you come with the money, yeah, that just don't like Yo Gotti. You, you got Yo Gotti, Slim Thug. Um, but they're, so like, but these, uh, listen. What? Yeah, Sucks but the dicks. thing is, no, the it don't matter. Oh, wait. You're paying for the movie. But where are you going to put okay. your movie? Yeah. Where are you going to put your movie at? Because I don't care about you have the money. Where are you putting your movie at? On my platform? Oh, you still owe somebody. <laughs> no, he didn't. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're wicked. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot. Of... Ah, so that's the key. You had not sucking dicks for for fame. <laughs> no, because nowadays more people. <laughs> but the thing is, this more people are coming in with the money, right? So like, you have people that are signing deals. For example, Drake, right? Drake allegedly signed because the the number is undisclosed four to five hundred million dollar deal last year. And he doesn't have to. I was about to say, with who? who? Um, Universal. Universal. He didn't have to. But if if he legitimately did not sign a deal, he'd probably be the richest person on earth just by how the numerics work. With so why didn't why did he? Because there's still a power above you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. That's why I'm saying it doesn't matter about the money you have when you got to realize that you still have to be partnered with somebody, right? So when you're part, you have to make your relationship. All I know is that, like, if you in real estate and stuff, you ain't got to be sucking dicks to nah. get money. I, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until like, you start owning too much. When you start owning too much, it's like, okay, you're a big fish test. now? Come over here. I mean, but if you... Uh, the real estate test. Oh, I ain't talking about being an agent. I'm talking about just being an investor. No, I was about to say, because I was if like, if you... The top investor, and, and you're a woman... And I think that falls into the Me Too movement. Like I would just, I would just, unfortunately, I would just probably saying, funnel yeah. it through my yeah. husband. I was about to say, because if you're working for a realtor, you got to be sucking some dick for the <laughs> listings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything boils down <laughs> to sucking a dick. Sloppy That's all time. it is. Y'all what a shame. Sunset? Anybody watch Selling Sunset? Who? No, Selling Sunset? Oh, yeah, I heard of it. So, Wait, I've seen it before. I love Selling Sunset. It's, it's a reality TV yeah, well, show it's, about it's, it's, the, uh, the white group, right? Yeah, the yeah. white group in uh, L.A. Yeah. And uh, they the girls in the, in the office, they be mad because Mary be getting all the listings. But she used to date the real the, the realtor. What she used like to do the with the realtor? the broker realtors. of the place? The bro yeah, the broker. Yeah. That's what oh, I mean okay. to say. The broker. <clears throat> they're like, oh, my gosh. He always gives Mary all the listings. She's making all the money. Why? That's why I never understood. She was sucking that dick. But, but like, yo, you know what? And I say this, I say this in a in a fun way. I never understood why women complain Don't about having to fuck know. their way to the top because whether or not they know it, a lot of the guys they look up to, they doing it their too. way to the top too. So it's like you think you're the only one. Jeez, now we're uh, seeing what happens when you go against. You know what I'm saying? The people that you had to fuck, like Diddy, like you know, he went against them. Now. <laughs> verbally abused well that that was that's a part of the game you gotta start it's called somewhere. hazing yeah, yeah hazing. it's called hazing and that, that's just, i mean you gotta start somewhere yeah but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this everybody can't take hazing yeah everybody cannot i sure can't take hazing and now that that's abuse now, like it telling someone what they have to do something, their job is abuse now. So mm -hmm. back in the day, get me some fucking cheesecake. Well, get me some cheesecake. Yeah. Do you, do yeah, you think exactly. that the world is too sensitive now? Absolutely. Ten times. I now. think hazing should be somewhat legal. Just I don't not know to if I'm being insensitive somebody. in saying that, but that's how I feel. I think, uh, uh, I think a little bit. 
not even a little bit, like it, it is sensitive. And I won't even say the world. I think it's in a, I think it's a uniquely American thing mm -hmm. where we are so, I ain't gonna say we, but like society is so like on pins and needles about, you know, gender, about uh, politics, about um, race. I mean, just like every fucking thing, you know, like sexuality. It, 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 it's very hard to, and, and I'm not saying people just should be out here saying and doing everything because, you know, there are consequences to your actions, but I just compare like, let's just say, uh, what do y'all call it? Not millennials. Uh, Gen Z? Like y'all are, no, X. Like Gen, okay. compare Gen X to millennials to Gen Z. I'm a Z. No, Z? You tell us. Gen Z is like oh, after 97 or no, something No, I think like you're uh, X. 79, I'm an X? You are, you X. Okay. So I just think that like, even when you just think about how, like in the capacities that you know these people, the level of sensitivity is like it does. It's like a, it does a nose dive, mm -hmm. you know. Oh wait, wait, no, sorry. It's down here and it goes. It shoots up, you know. So um, without getting into too many like details as to why people are sensitive, because I don't want the agenda. Huh? Talk about the agenda. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know about none of that. Uh, I just. I don't. What you say me don't know. Yep. Me don't know. Uh, I. We. we they are sensitive. They are like, and I, I, there's really no better way to say it. You know, I think it's good that people are more conscious of what they say and do around or to people, but like, to what extent? Mm -hmm. the, the owners of the game, yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't think it, it'll ever change. Mm -hmm. No, it's grown. Still, it's probably grown. Uh -huh. It's just like a like a but seed that sprouts. Yeah, and I guarantee you, if a man does start sucking some dick, we'll be on ABC. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be a male. I was about. To, did it have to be me? It couldn't have been Rome. No, no. <laughs> couldn't have been Rico. Like, it couldn't have been you. It ain't gonna be me. Rico. Rico likes to watch some forty-five minute. Clips. No, you're right. Yo, first of, forty-five minute one. clips is crazy. He would be the you one. You see, and look, it'd be people like Rome this, that starts the rumors. Saved in his phone. I, I have, have it saved in my I phone. Literally have to go scrolling yeah. through uh, Twitter to find it. He had it already saved. I had it saved to, in my phone, ready to pull out. Oh, I have it right here. I that know where to find he was it. Driving with it on in his Bluetooth. Listening to it. Surround sound. See, guys? <laughs> in the Audi. <laughs> and the craziest thing is this, right? The craziest thing is it was text to me today. So I never saved it. Yeah, you requested it. I can't even click the link. The link is not even clickable. And why? Because I actually was like. Yeah, so you had to copy and paste it in yeah. your Safari. And what are you talking about? I didn't. Because you couldn't click the link. I watched it on somebody else's phone. Yeah, and you said, I need that. I said, send it to me, <laughs> right? <laughs> Send it to me, and then I had it. That was earlier today, and it's Alan's fault because <laughs> Alan said, "Come with, come with some, Blame come with some, come with some information." I got some information for y'all niggas. Y'all want to see some viral Video. shit? But he said, let me get that audio. I need research. What? Did he? No, it's done for him. Yeah, yeah. I've been to. Listen, first of all, come I to what though? What, what come back yeah. from? No, no, but uh, to and go where? To love. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'll say this. I think that ironically, as like hard as people go when people fuck up, when they like go hard on those people, I think that America really does. It's like the next thing. They forget about stuff. People go away for a couple years, try to hand at something and like come back. You know, yeah. I won't I won't call that. I won't say that that means America is a very forgiving place, but our memories are short. So it's it's a possibility. I think it depends. No, I think it depends if because uh, he it's music and it's it's no one's gonna really do business with him if you think about it. Like you don't want your name attached to that. It depends. I, I, if he beats these allegations, he'll be fine. If he beats them, he'll be fine. That is true because that man him, from Nickelodeon, he went to jail, came out, and no, was hired at Disney. Know, he really? was 
he was, but he had a different relationship. Again, how you get caught is a is an entirely different situation. You know what I'm saying? If he got caught because he literally got caught slipping, his people are still gonna protect him. If you got caught because you were going against the people that was protecting you, you're done. And I feel like there's a big difference that's going on. And I have a, I have a question. So you said all this sort of stemmed from the Diageo situation? My opinion, yeah. Okay. What what everybody else saying? I, you know, like that the, all this is happening. Anybody know? They just trying to say from it started from the Cassie situation. She opened that door. Yeah, I feel like she opened Pandora's box, but I well, mean, I feel like this shit was inevitable. No, nah, it was definitely able to be. But 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 I guess my question is: You said like he upset the people in his circle. Like who are the? You said it was. I guess you think it's because of the lawsuit against. Diageo. Yeah. Which, so if you, the way I looked at it was the chain of events, right? So prior to that lawsuit, you had the whole lawsuit with Jay Z and Duce, right? Oh, I remember, okay. I remember. So then Jay Z wins that, and then he, and I felt as if, like, okay, Jay, Diddy was like, okay, well, they were just, you know, fucking over Jay Z, and that's Jay Z. I know my company's fucking me over too. Let me go ahead and follow suit. And then once that happened, you know, I don't know how long that took to to settle or, or or whatever the result was, but it started in June of last year, and then by November of last year, the day before, you know, the day before the statute of limitations, the first allegation comes. Four more come after that, and now you have five allegations, and then that was in November, right? So fast forward to March, three months, four months later. They're raiding his house. Wait, so why didn't anything happen? I don't know who owns Duce, but why didn't anything happen to um to Jay Z? So what happened with Jay Z was a little bit different, right? So Jay Z went like, "Hey, I want to buy this. I want to, or, or I want to, I want to buy a percent. No, I want to sell my percentage, right? Mm -hmm. He went to sell a portion, and they gave him a low number, right? Right. Okay. So then he was, was like, it on, it was like, were they, were they? Uh, deceptive about the valuation or something. So it, exactly. So it, okay. that's yes, exactly what happened. Right. So, Hungry. but wait, we're not gonna do this again, Amanda. Yeah. Oh. Like. No lies. No, no. The no. the crunching in my ear that was mad, like discreet. Like. He was like. No. Why oh, you gotta call me out? What are you playing? Okay. Not what he's wasn't listening even about to. to in the mic. Yes, girl. So actually, oh, oh, it's TikTok. Sorry, I do have a TikTok. Okay. Yeah, dude. Right. Okay, well, I guess we put it away. I'm gonna try one of these. It's actually really good. I just want to run it back though to the very beginning because this is something that I just can't. That's get not over. it. I can't get over. Wait, I don't know. That's what came up. Oh. Sometimes they don't load. You got a little flavor to it. They're nice, right? I have my other phone. I like those ones like that. Yeah. Me neither. Uh, Tostones. What? Uh, Sorry, but Tupac? Maduro's. What? Mm -mm. what happened with Tupac's case? Oh. But when it did that like happen? It looked like it was loading. Oh. Did it happen after? Did like they open up the two? And I want y'all to think about this because I don't want to call no other names. I don't want to call no other names on because I don't want to be getting no viral moment uh, on this bitch where they video my shit and have me on the shade room and everywhere else mm -hmm. the fucking room. Think about what I'm getting ready to say to you all. When you sign up to these major companies, these major corporations, and they make you a billionaire, and you're doing all kind of wild shit around them and all kind of wild shit with them. And they make you a billionaire. They feel like they made you. They feel like they made you. So when you go rogue and you get to the point where you, you go to talking that shit about suing them and, and, and acting like and talking all that wild shit about you this and you that. And you suing them, and they treating you some kind of way. And when you go rogue, them people coming. That was it. Yeah, and they, that's what happened. Oh, he wasn't they done. Like they made that's why you. I said because I know he paused. They still buying and purchasing niggas. Oh, they gonna cut me off. 
country. Think about all these black dudes. Who's Luke? Luke, what? Okay. Who start talking about these big time billion dollar corporations? Stop yeah. talking. You a okay. 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 stock. When you fuck with their stock, and they made you a billionaire. They made you. They look at you and say, nigga, you ain't sold that many records to make you a billionaire. You ain't sold that many things to make you a billionaire. We partnered up with you using your name and likeness and your brand, and you made millions. We made you a billionaire. And when you go to talking that wild shit... Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so I actually take You had issue. to watch it because I just seen it now. He's making the funny faces with it. That's I, actually, it. I actually take issue with what he's saying because at the end of the day, if Diddy partnered with another entity or company or whatever, but for Diddy and his likeness, that company would not have made what they made. But they're already like- It doesn't matter. Diddy was already rich too. No, no, no. He wasn't wealthy. Like he was wealthy. Like we're talking about like so a corporation, for example, we're talking about I know I agree if he wasn't wealthy. But they publicized those brands. I'm um I'm not gonna lie. Cause I, people were buying some because it was for, but for his likeness and him being the face and the name behind those particular brands, there is no but there the is brand, no way that those that the yeah. yeah. It was. And I didn't even know that wasn't him anymore. Okay, and you literally just proved my point. This was a brand that was established that had been around, right? Clearly failing when you compare it to what happened after they partnered with Diddy. So, but, but for Diddy's participation in that partnership or agreement or whatever, they would not have made that money. If anything, he benefited them more than they ever could have benefited him. So they own, I'm about to say... I know I get what you're saying, but you're talking. You're talking about oh, wait, Alan. So, but but and that's still. But even before or after Diddy, like you're missing her point. We know Ciroc because of Diddy, not because of them. Yeah, but he's saying he's saying. Does it matter who? Why you know it? Besides Ciroc, and I get what you're saying. But you're talking about business. You, Alan, I really think you're missing what I'm saying. You, and let's just, again, let's just look at this in, 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 in terms of widgets, right? You're saying that Ciroc was a brand that existed, right? Let's say it existed for 40... No, you're saying the owners yeah. of Ciroc. No, no. I get it, but they had a failing brand. Yeah, but they're not a failing company organization. And Ciroc was probably what? Around the same time? A thing. No, that was like oh. early 2000s. Wait, no. Diddy was with Ciroc in the early 2000s? Yes. Absolutely. How do you... No, no, no. What? No, early 2000s? I'm not sure. Bro, but... I was out of college when he started... When we started drinking Ciroc because of Diddy. I was when like, he I had was, Fat Boy I, I SSE in the and the first year. And that was like 2015, 2014. Is 2011 not early 2000? No, early 2000 was like yeah, 2002. Yeah, 2011. I was in middle school when I when I knew Ciroc. Yeah, that was probably like 2011. It had to be <laughs> like because I was a. Long story short, if there was if if the, we're talking about business, right? If there was bad business, Bro, he had every right to sue, to have the books opened up, and to get what he's entitled to. Sure. Sure. You're fucking with the wrong people. And so what is... And I could go. I could go. 
Alan, they're a publicly traded company first and foremost. Start working but with that's them. the point. So literally, I own a piece of Diageo. Mm. Thank you, Aaron Campbell. Thank you, Aaron they did Campbell. In 2007, and then started pushing them when Instagram came out. Hey, Campbell, thank you. Instagram yeah, yeah. Act like what, I be saying stuff. Like I literally don't talk about stuff I don't know. Huh? Uh oh. And grab a tostoni. So nobody knew about Ciroc with Diddy until after social media. And when did they establish Delion? Because I only started drinking that because of Diddy too. I didn't really drink it, but. Delion wasn't really that good anyway, though. Hmm? Delion was not good to me. What is it? Uh, tequila. Um, so he was part of it. So. So he was partnered with Ciroc in 2007, and they had the same deal since. Was Delion 50-50 as well? Well, really, what was Ciroc making 2007? Exactly. 2008. Alan just told us. No, 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 wait, 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 hold on. What was, what was Ciroc making from 2007 to 2012? And I say 2012 because that's kind of like the start of like Instagram around that time. So if Ciroc wasn't making any money when they were signed to Diddy in 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it don't matter when he signed. And so you're like, saying it's the power of social media. Exactly. And and if that is the case, Diddy's value in the first five years, roughly, when he signed in 2007, was minuscule. If it was still a failing brand with him. No, I, I think... Okay, it went from... If the stock was trading at $39... In, 2000, in what year? In 2006. Mm -hmm. In 2000... I thought you said it was 39. Oh, it was 39 in 06. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That ain't what you just told me. I was about Alan, to Alan, you want to argue me down. Like I well, said, wait. but for but Diddy. I feel like we don't but, even have to argue this. Like we know that. I just want to, I just want, I, I just have one question. No. And my one question is, what was Ciroc making from 2007 to 2012 in that five-year period? Well, he, well, he just told you at least the first three years. No, he said 2006, like right think, before 2007. No, six was, six was the year before the purchase, so that was 39. No, he said right before the purchase was 47. No, no, no. 2007. The previous year before the purchase was 39, 06. Yes. Then he's. Then he said the year before he signed. Oh, no, the year that he signed, right before it. 47. Yeah. And in 2015, they bought who? Don Julio? In 2015, they bought what else? So really, again, I don't believe Diddy made the brand. Because... But you have to think about it. 2015... Is when they he said, did you hear what he said? What the numbers were from from when before he signed to when he signed? Yes, but I don't think they tripled almost. Well, we're talking. Well, we're talking about okay. First of all, guys, there's an eight year there's an eight year gap, right? That you're talking about from 2007 to 2015. From 2007 to 2015, there's also a major difference. You of, have to look at the inc in, the incremental growth. That's what I'm trying to find out. And he just said what the no, incremental growth is. No, I want to know is. the year to year growth. What's 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012? So they started they started monopolizing afterwards. My question is very simple. I don't know why we can't get this answer. Why don't we just? Why can't I ever just get an answer? Okay, so no, it went said, down. You said oh six. No, no, no. It went down. That's Instagram. So in a four year, from 2016 to 2020. 
But but guess what? In that purchase, in that time. So, but yeah, so, okay, we. We still on. All right. Well, uh, my, 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 my position is. Oh, my, my position is unchanged, but for his involvement with that company, they would have not been able to uh, make the transition from what they were to what they are now. And so for even like Luke, for him to say that, you know, him suing for something that he believed based on accounting that was rightfully his, that because he, you know, uh, sued for that, they're taking, now they're taking him down. To me, that just doesn't make any sense. Right, but for me. But Is that L-U-C? God, no, God, what are we talking It's everyone against you, my brother. Okay, my point, bro. If we have Adidas, right, and then you have Kanye West, and Kanye West comes to Adidas and helps make Adidas billions and billions of dollars, doesn't matter. They were already making that type of money. Right, so you might have helped the brand. No, wait, Alan. Well, I need that number again. I'm confused. And that Even, is a it, horrible example. No, it's not. It is. Okay, listen. Everybody went crazy for Yeezys. We're not. Even, no, but what, what are? Listen, I want to make sure that we understand something. We are. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them, but that was funny. Sorry. <laughs> what so what I want to say. Influence. Let Rico talk, please, everybody. Like, <laughs> Jesus, I know what she's saying. Not even more, no, but what you rightfully are entitled to. Yes, and I'm not saying that. That's irregardless, right? So I do agree. Did he help tre tremendously on the brand? Yes. That's not the debate that I'm having. The debate that I'm having is this is an entity that has been out for 28 years and about, what, 10, 15 years prior to your involvement. We didn't even need you. And that was their stance, right? We, we are going to, these big companies who are existing for decades upon decades prior to a black entertainer coming in do not find value in this black entertainer, no matter how much money they make them. That's my point. I, so why did they saw him out? Yeah, why? What do you mean? Why, why, no, they, why they, they bothered him? No, they're that. They're, they saw him out to use him. Thank you. We don't give a fuck what about you're yeah. saying, What you're saying is right. And what he's saying is right. What Luke is saying is, them white people don't care about you. That's what, that's what he's saying. But what you're saying, yes, Diddy made all the money. And yes, that sounds great. Like putting moral and economics. That sounds great. We're not talking about morals. We're not talking about morals. I'm not talking about morals either. Yeah. But we're talking about straight business. Luke is talking about, listen, you think them white people care how much money you made them? They made you. That's what Luke is saying. But that's, that's factually inaccurate. Yes. We, well, that's, what, that's what we're, we're saying. saying that, we're saying yeah. that's factually inaccurate, but the, the powers that be don't care about that. They're, okay, they're okay. Looking, they're okay. looking at it as, we made you. Okay, let, let, let's just take that as, as, as fact. They're, they say we made you. Does that mean that He's not entitled to. It is. He's he's completely entitled, but not in their mind. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. Is yes. that the the point that you're making? Yeah, but they they're saying it as don't get out of line. We're so on you. You're a slave to yes. us, and I don't think that we're missing this point. Like that's what he's saying. Like either, either, whatever you do, you're still my slave. Even if you make us money, we made you more money. That's it. Than you've ever made. And, so and technically, it's your job to make us money anyway. Yeah. That's the position we put you in to make us money. Okay, and we, I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, and 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 that's what's always going to be. And now I can if Diddy would have just came in, you know, a year or two year when they had just started their company, this would be a little bit different. But when you have a company that's been open for 28 years, 28 years really ain't that long. But let's just say close to three decades. Still not that long. I know that, but he came in at what point? He came in what 15 years after? No, I think he said. Uh, yeah, so twenty eight minus two thousand twenty four is what? Um, ninety eight. Ninety. Yeah, that's what I you gotta do the math, math on that. Right now. Uh, <laughs> Are you trying to do the math? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped with that in the calculator. So you got it. Two thousand uh, nineteen ninety six, <laughs> nineteen ninety seven, right? <laughs> what so happened? Like, so they're like, so they're like, okay, we've How been long? ten years, a decade. So they're like, hey, we've been in business for a decade, right? It's fucking nothing. Okay, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things, but Diddy is nothing to them. 
We were already here for a decade without you, little man. We are, and guess what? If I don't get Diddy, I'm going to go get Chris. I'm going to go get Rome. I can, get, I can pick wherever I want. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I can pick. Like, you're just a pawn in my, little, in my bigger puzzle. And yet, you're going to help me fill a lot of pieces, but you still don't have value no matter how much you bring to my company. You don't have the value that you think you do. And the second that you think that you made enough money to go against the company, mm -hmm. we're going to show you why we have more money and why we don't really value you to begin with. And it's really a flex on power. I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve it. I agree. I agree he does deserve it. But at the same time, in their eyes, you are just a piece. It's like, I look at it like the NFL. Entertainment is like the NFL, damn near. You, I could get... Are sucking dicks too? They might be. You never... You, I actually, I put y'all in the comments. Let us know. Are they sucking dicks in the NFL to make make shit pop? I don't. They know. they might be. You know, mm. what I'm saying? a lot of them. How many dicks did Peyton Manning suck? I don't know. Jesus. Just... Oh my. Y'all, Brady got seven rings. He he, he, he must was, be a he the throat goat. And there was oh my god. Now he can't come on here because he don't like Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> he know he know I'm playing. Nah, he he's a Leo. He probably upset. What the fuck? But again, like, Definitely not. I'll no. never see this but, person a day in my life. But you remember this, right? If, you, if we look at it from that same um, analogy or example, Bill Belichick, and, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady had a fallout, right? Patriots had a choice to choose one. Tom Brady made them more money. Nobody was buying Bill Belichick shirts, right? Tom Brady made them probably the most money that that, that you know, um, um, entity has ever seen. And they said, bye, Tom. Yeah, ciao. But you know what? I think they were looking at their skill sets very differently because a coach is a coach is a coach. However, your talents and skills uh, decline every single year that you're in the league, even though Tom Brady has exceeded his age group and, and all of that by, you know, like well beyond what it was supposed to be. But they had no proof. Like he was still putting up accurate numbers that was consistent with his whole career when they left him. Mind you, he left and still won a Super Bowl. No, I, I get saying? that. I, I get Bill, that. Bill, they they declined. And since yeah. They just got rid of him or he just They left. needed each other. I, I Well, I don't think so because Tom Brady still won without him. That's true. So now it's like when we look at it from a, you're a player, you're still not a part of the management team. And when we, no matter how much money you make the company, you're still just a player for us. And I think that's what they look at Diddy as. That's what they look at. Kanye as you're still a player. You're not a coach. You're not a CEO. You have no involvement in any real decisions here. The only thing you need to do is sell tickets or bottles. And not get out of line. And, and yeah, and don't get out of line. Do, 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 do. See what happened to Antonio Brown? Oh. Oh God. He got out of line and got yes. kissed out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have to understand. Uh, that guy's a little troubled, though. I mean, yeah. I don't know if we can. But you get what I'm saying. He got out of line and he ain't coming back ever since. Supposedly, uh, you know, this is all I can say about this guy. Um, I wish him well. Who did he? Yeah, you know, because at the end of the day, I don't know what he did. You know, I um, heard too many yeah, stories. Did he to do believe it? That it didn't happen, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and I, Which I was, part didn't I wasn't gonna. Well, there's stories that I know that have that I personally know, right? Because you was there. No, from the actual person. And when that actual person, like, like there's a situation which I'm not going to get into depth about, but a person who went to his party who is no longer here today. FYI, that's hearsay in court. I was about yeah. to say. Oh, wow. I'm just saying. Hearsay it's hearsay. is third party information. Yeah. Well, anyways, I don't know about third party. It was a made up story. I made it up myself just now. I lied. So the moral oh. story is <laughs> everybody's lying. Yep. I'm, all, I'm um, lying about everything. I don't know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. He's lying under oath. All we're going to do is let it play out, see what happens, and... Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the comments. The circus. Enjoy the, enjoy the Twitter. Enjoy the black Twitter uh, Oh, posts. man, you got a little black Twitter. Those shits are hilarious. Black Wait, y'all, hold on. I'm sorry. Just, this is, this is uh, on another, this is on a tangent, but, like, you know how the, like, uh, the Brooklyn, not Brooklyn, Baltimore, Baltimore Bridge. Baltimore Bridge, yeah. Was it the Francis Scott Key Bridge or whatever? Um, first of all, that was crazy. And there was some guy, uh, I guess he's, I don't know if he's a professional troll or if he's a, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, you know who it is? Oh, but anyway, he essentially um, 
was using DEI in place of the N word. And so I saw a thread of like D black Twitter. Yeah, I don't was know. DEI suppo yeah. it's supposed to mean like the N word? No, like, no, no, no. Okay, so DEI. So, you know, when they say, oh, you're a diversity hire or, oh, they lowered the bar for these <sighs> airplane pilots to get in, like that whole that. So DEI is d diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? Um, wow. Shout out to a company that I'm a part owner in. They specialize in that. It's called Canaries. Look it up. Thank you. Plug. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, plug. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I forgot really what I was saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they, I think they were calling the, uh, the mayor who's black, young black guy. Yeah, like 30, like, huh? He's less than 40. Whatever. Yeah. And so he was using the word like DEI in place of the N word. So black people on, I guess, black Twitter or whatever, they were like, what's up, my DEIs? And they was like, I'm a ride for my DEIs. They were pretty much yeah. just like making a serious thing, you know, that is actually very offensive into like comedy. Per usual. Oh, yeah. Black people. That's what Twitter yeah. is for. Black Twitter especially. Yo, I, I think that black people just make jokes out of everything, to be honest. And 39, okay. And it, but he's been in office for like two years now, I think. But he's less than 40. But Yeah, no, I'm just saying. So he was like super young when he got in. He doesn't look 21, but he, he is young. Right. That was yeah. stretching it. Hey, Alan just always got to do the, the extra. I feel like I look you like know, I'm 21, right? You don't. Like, Not like you I'm either. Um, I don't look like I'm 21? No, you don't. Oh, well, 24. We're moving on. No, you don't. What do you look like, Amanda? Her age. 21. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't look 21. I was just, I, honestly, I just think 21. that it is an amazing gift that uh, I think black people have in this country to. I think it's a terrible find the gift. light in, in dark like, situations. You got to be able to smile. Yeah. I just think it's, a, it's an amazing gift that black people in this country have to take something that is incredibly serious. And turn that shit into a joke. It might be a little premature sometimes, you know. Um, but you can't deny the funny. You know, you might be like, damn, I'm going to hell, but this shit funny as hell, you know. So I just, I, and I think part of that is like how we deal with trauma and like that's bad right. stuff. Like, you know? be, that's, that's why I don't. Right. In the jokes for me. Slavery, right? Comedy? Yeah. Well, not, our, not comedy, but, but turning tragedy into like, into comedy, yeah. To laugh at it's it. Actually like, history it's on actually it. a form of coping. And um, it's unhealthy because it's it. Is it? Yeah, it's like yeah, like because the thing is. Does your therapist tell you that? No, he don't. You don't believe therapy. in therapy. He don't go to therapy. And have the therapist. <coughs> but it's a form of it, like I feel like it's a form of coping. And my thing is oh, wow. the problem is what and this is like you know stems with the n word right. Like we we use the n word that was once an offensive thing. We've made it something that's supposed to be like a term of endearment, and then. We had rules and stipulations on who can and who can't use that. Now, the thing is like, well, if you make something funny like DEI, and now we keep on seeing people on the Instagram and all these different social medias that are now saying DEIs and super racial things, it's like, well, we've kind of allowed it and enabled it by making it a joke ourselves. And I feel like that's a problem that that we continue to have. And I, I like sometimes you got to stop some shit before it gets out of hand. But I feel like as black people, the joke is with us. Yeah. Like, I feel like other people can't come in on the joke because, bitch, you don't even know why we laughing. <laughs> why are you laughing? But they right. made, <laughs> but they made the joke. But they made it though. They're like, you DEI. And you're like, oh, what? Oh, I'm a DEI? Yeah, but you have, you have to think about the psychology of why they want to tell the joke. Exactly. Yeah, but it, it's, again, a form of coping, regardless. And I think like it shouldn't be cope because cope means tolerated in this term, uh, in this example. And if you tolerate it in your own way, then you're gonna enable the other way to be misconceptualized. Mm. Uh, let it rock, let it rock. <laughs> you're gonna allow them. You're gonna allow them. You're gonna allow them to think it's okay too, right? You're gonna enable the other party. You know what the fuck I meant? I know what you're saying. I was trying to go, but I was like, I don't know the word that I was trying to like. Why? 
You know how you say the wrong word, but I you know it's the wrong word. I could not. She already shared through the lookout. Yeah, and I was watching her like stop because I. Because I wasn't. I was. Why did you help me with the fucking word? Calculation in my head too. Yo, black people will leave each other to drown, like on camera. They don't care about helping you for shit. They're like, yup, go ahead, drown, so we can laugh at you. You the joke now, (laughs) di. <laughs> See, look at you. I'm pissed. You over here trying to explain why I'm, we shouldn't be calling I'm each other. I'm trying to DIs. cope right now. I'm <laughs> trying to fucking cope. Which falls you, back into what you were saying earlier but about I wanna, being too sensitive, America being too sensitive. Mm-hmm. So, like, are we being too sensitive with that? No, we gotta be stern. You, Fuck stern sensitive. What? So then when you when you act a fool and you beat up somebody of 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 a different race over that word, then you're doing exactly what they expect you to no, do. No, no, no. I don't mean like violence, but like, hey, listen, this is not okay. And just check it and just don't embrace it. But when we start embracing things, and I think sometimes we do too much and then it just becomes our new norm. It's a little lighter on the situation just to laugh. And I feel like it really is. it's not a situation to laugh at. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm traumatized by that bridge, right? I already have like one of the biggest I'm not fear lie, I was too. of of watching of being on the bridge while that shit falls. I'm, I'm the same way. I was like, on the bridge today, like Amanda. If something happened right now, where am I how, swimming? I was like, how close <laughs> to you to this end of the bridge or to this end of the bridge? I speak, when I get on and the bridge, like, I'm like pedal to do the. Do I metal. even have yep. time to get out of the car and like figure the, out which the, way I'm closer right. to, or should I just run to either uh, direction? Happens. And will I make it yeah. to the end? If I do start running, I, I really was it. thinking about that. I took two bridges today. All the time. Every time I get, honestly. I'm the same way. There's a point, right, where I never, I would never forget. Back in the day, I was driving my car. This is like 2010, right? I was 17. And my fucking tire blew out right before I got on a bridge. Like, right before I got on the bridge, the, the bridge to Perdambo, you know, like, to go to Saraville. Right before I got on that bridge, my tire blew out. And I was like, yo, imagine if I was driving on the bridge and my tire blew out and I started, cause I was swerving a little bit, but I was fine. But I was like, yo, if I would have just swerved off and I was already scared of bridges and that just made me like, yo, I don't pedal to the metal shit on the bridge. I'm like, nah, I don't give a fuck how new this car is. I don't trust nothing we made. I do. <laughs> I need to try to get across the van. Exactly. I need to get from one end to the other real quick. So and I almost, maybe I'm pressing. One time I was, so I had just learned, now this isn't smart. I had just learned how to uh, use a motorcycle and I was going on a bridge and it had like a, like I guess like where the cement leaves and then the bridge kind of extends from. So it had like that little that like- metal part? Yes. I hate that part. And I didn't really know it because <laughs> I've never been on a motorcycle on the bridge. Yeah, it'll when I kicked that shit, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna just- It be shh. When I say, I, I went up, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. It's over. It's yeah. over. <laughs> like for two seconds, I was like, it's over. And I landed and I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't let go, but like I like my grip wasn't really on the on the on the uh, like, handles. <laughs> I was like, I was in shock, but I was fine. Like I kept going straight and I was like, okay, you know what? Slow the fuck down, calm your shit and and go. I'm not gonna lie, my intrusive thoughts like think about things that happen all like this time. all Tragedies, the time. Yep. Especially tunnels. I'm like, Amanda, what if something like what if the water just punches in and, and now like nobody has zero time to get the fuck out of here because we're all going yeah. to drown in a couple of seconds. What's that water tunnel? I think about that when I go through that no, water yeah. tunnel. Holland? Yeah, I definitely think about that. You know what's crazy? I never feared a tunnel, but I fear the shit out of a bridge, bro. And the tunnel's worse because no, you can at least oh, survive. No, like, bro. I can, yeah. I can, oh my God, the air is escaping me thinking about the fucking <laughs> tunnel. <laughs> like, it is over for you in bro, the tunnel. Over. I think about that all That's the time. That's what they said. And, and, and Diddy's tunnel, too, is over for you. No, <laughs> I should have made that joke. That's a black joke, right? No. Hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. I don't think it's a black joke. I think is it's it? everybody. Diddy's joke. black, but I don't... <laughs> I don't like walking on fine lines, okay? I'm not saying that for <laughs> Well, it's been great, guys. Um, like I said, I... I wish him well. I wish his alleged victims well. Like, whatever it is, I hope they figure it out. I really don't care to see any more of it on my timeline or on TV, personally, um, because it's not really important. It shouldn't be on CNN that much. I'm sorry. I agree. Or any other news. Um, There's so much other stuff going on that Diddy is at the very bottom of the list for me. Um, I don't agree. If this man did it, he needs... 
Nothing needs to be punished. No. No, she's not saying. Yeah, yeah. no. It, 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 there's there's other more important things than us worrying about a another citizen. Like it, our infrastructure, because the yeah. bridge just fell. Yeah, yeah, like like literally, like yeah, Haiti, going like the bridge, the Marines there, like uh, just 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 everything. Maybe the bridge. So, did you hear about what happened with the bridge and how like they already knew that that ship was gonna crash into it? And that they had it like pre evacuated it. I don't know, but we should hold that for next time. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, look at your watch. Huh? Look at your watch and say that. Yeah, let's. Yes. Yo, yeah, let's hold that for next time. There we go. Um, I love the theatrics. Uh, but y'all, thank y'all for watching. We appreciate it. We love y'all. And we love uh, being live today. Yeah, we haven't been live in a minute. Yeah, this was great. No? I thought we live What'd every week. you say, week? Marie? Oh, really? Great. Thank y'all for tuning y in. Y'all nosy motherfuckers always want to know about Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. All right. Shout out to Quilly. <laughs> oh. So, all right. Peace out. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. Um, share our posts. We appreciate it. And we're out. Oh, hey! Oh, hey wow, long time. Really? Blame Alan, Michael. Blame <laughs> Who did? Okay, awesome. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Oh, he was in there policing people. <laughs> He's always been a, a, a great supporter. What was the poll? Wait, what was the poll? Ain't even, ain't even say the crime. It just yeah, I was, yeah. My question would be 